let's take a look at how we can spice up the videos that we've uploaded to YouTube by editing, adding links to them, or promoting other videos that are on our YouTube channel. To do that, from YouTube Studio, all I need to do is go to the Videos section and click to edit the video that I'd like to add a link to. That's going to bring up this screen that we've looked at a few times thus far in the course. This is where we can change the name and the description of our videos, and if we were a YouTube partner, we could also alter our monetization options from here. To add links and promote our other content in a video on YouTube, we need to do so by adding what are called cards and end screens. Cards can be displayed at any time during a video, but end screens can only be featured towards the end. On this screen right here, if we had any cards or end screens featured in this video, they would be listed down towards the bottom right in the appropriate section. To add new cards, all we need to do is go over to the cards section and click on the link to open up the cards page. Now, if you decide to add an end screen to one of your videos, it's going to look very, very similar to what we're doing right here in the card section. You just won't be able to add it at any point during the video. It will only be available to add to the end of your video. But let's go ahead and add a card. So from here, what we can do is we can click on the add card dropdown. And you'll notice that we have some different options here. So we could add a link to one of our videos or playlists that we have on our channel. We could link to another channel. We could conduct a poll, so that might be a good idea to gain future content ideas from our viewers. And we could also add a link, but it's important to note that we do need to be a YouTube partner before we can add links. So once we join the YouTube partner program, we could then associate our website with our YouTube channel, and then we could link our website right here from our videos. But for now, we're actually going to promote a playlist. So let's click on the create button next to video or playlist. You'll notice that a window pops up that allows us to select the video or playlist that we'd like to promote. So I'm going to click on the Playlists tab, and I'm going to select the Cake Designs Playlists. Since this is a video about cakes, I think that the viewers might be interested in the other videos that we have in this playlist. So once I have the playlist selected, I can go down to the bottom and I can drop down the Customize section to customize the teaser and the custom message. The teaser text is what's going to appear right within your video before the user clicks on the card, which we'll see in a minute. The custom message text is what will appear after the user clicks on the card. So how about for the teaser text, we say, check out more cake videos. And for the custom message, we can say some of our best cakes ever. And then when we're ready, we can click on create card. Now, you'll notice it doesn't look like much has changed, but we do have the card listed over here up at the top. And if we move our playhead here, so this is where we are actually viewing the video, this blue line, but this white line is actually where our card is introduced. Now, unlike annotations, which are no longer available on YouTube, once a card is introduced, it stays for the whole video. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and let's put this card at say two seconds and we'll put our playhead all the way back. So we hit play and you'll notice up here at the top right, we don't have anything. And then once it gets to that spot in our video where we introduce the card, it kind of pulls out here and it says, hey, check out more cake videos. And now we could click on it. Oh, and now we see more. Here's our teaser, some of our best bakes ever. And then we could click to watch that particular playlist. So I highly recommend that you make use of the cards feature here on YouTube. Notice that you can put up to five cards in a single video. So that's a lot of opportunities for you to promote additional content on your YouTube channel. Using these cards can be really powerful. I think they look really nice and uh, it's just a way to get viewers watching more and more content on your channel. Now I do wanna show you a couple of other things. So let's go ahead and let's just return to YouTube Studio and let's go back into that video. So we're gonna open up. So we're at the main details page here. I'm gonna close out this other tab. And I do wanna show you that there's also another section in here in YouTube that you can make use of. And that's the editor section. It's right here on the left side. And this is where we can actually edit this video from within YouTube. And this 
tool is getting more and more powerful as time goes on. I still don't think it is a substitute for an offline editing program that you should use before you upload your videos to YouTube, but it does allow you to modify some things after the fact. And I'm not going to go through a full tutorial on using this tool specifically, but I do want you to know that it is available here for you. So you could trim your video so you could cut off uh, the front part of the video or the end of your video if you you know, didn't do so before you upload it. You could add music to your video, which is right here in this audio section. So I could expand this section and I could click on the plus audio link and it will actually open up a new tab, which allows us to select from YouTube's audio library that uh, is available to us. So if you don't have any audio in your video, that's one way to do it. Uh, we could also add uh, some other things here to our video as well. This is the end screen section. So if we had an end screen in our video, it would be listed here as well. If we needed to blur out anything in a video, maybe we had a person's face in there that we forgot to blur out when we were editing, we could come back in and use the YouTube editor to do so. Again, I wanna reiterate, I think you should still be using a video editor before you upload to YouTube, but I definitely think you should be using the cards feature so that you can link all of your content together and try and maximize the amount of views that you're getting. And then if you notice that there's a mistake in your video, you can always come in here to the editor section and try and fix it right here within YouTube so that you don't have to re-upload the video all over again.